Good morning. Ureli, good morning. Well, Ureli, good morning. Welcome to the morning tea. Good morning, Angie. Good morning. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How art thou? Good morning, everyone. Come, come y'all, come on in the room. Come on in the room today. We got to talk. We have to talk this morning. So come on in the room. Let me put this paperwork up. Good morning. Becky Bay, good morning. You Angie, come on in the room. I was looking at something on um Walgreens because I'm about to call Walgreens customer service, see what can be done. See what can be done, okay, to get my points back. Because I got five dollars in points I didn't get yesterday. If you were looking at my um my thing, so I figured it out what the problem was. So there's five dollars in points that I need to get, and uh they're gonna need to give me my five dollars in points. Okay. So if not, we're gonna go back to the store and get to get the different ones. We're gonna try this. Try let's try this again. We're gonna try this again. Good morning, Ramirez. Good morning. Welcome. How you doing? You finally got one of those washi organizer draws. You don't know why you waited so long. You love it. I'm glad you finally got one. Now all your washi tape looks so pretty, you really. Your washi tape looks so pretty. Oh man, if you post a picture online, you really tag me, please, so I can see your washi tape storage. How pretty and cute you. Mine need to be organized again. I, it still needs to be purged. Tammy needs to get her life back together, okay? Because her life is not back together, and her life is not her own right now. Right now, Kim P. Good morning, y'all. Welcome, welcome to the morning tea. Welcome to the morning tea. Today we're gonna be talking about car buying, okay, y'all? We're gonna talk about that car buying today. But I got some a coupon update to tell y'all before we do the car buying situation, okay? Good morning, Hunte. Good morning, Mr. McAllister, y'all. I'm glad he's here, okay? So I'm going to give y'all a little coupon update, and then we're going to go into this car buying experience. First of all, we ain't even nowhere in the car buying experience. We only at the beginning, okay? And we're already having some slight problems, okay? Issues. Good morning, everybody. Welcome into the morning tea. Come on in the room, Diamond. Come on in the room, sister. Have a seat. Get your water. Get your water container and have it ready. Your desk is uh, Angie, so is mine. Congratulations. We have won. <laughs> we have won the big mess award. Okay, Diamond, how's your cleaning going? How's your decluttering, your organizing? How your thing going, Diamond? How, how your thing going? Shannon, welcome into the morning tea. Happy Tuesday to you. Crystal, come on in the room. Good morning, Flores, baby. Welcome to the morning tea. Jesse Renee, so glad to have you. Mama Shalice. Good morning. Welcome to the morning tea. I hope that was good enough for you, Shalice. I hope so. Good morning. Come on in the room. Misha Boo, come on. Jasmine, good morning. Lisa Y, good morning. Shannon is like, I got my Diet Coke. I'm ready to go. Shannon, get your second life together. Diet Coke in the morning is not the way to go. Shannon, Diet Coke is not the way to go. Okay. Okay. Good morning. 
Misha's like, I'm cleaning my desk right now. I can't because I'm talking to y'all. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Atia, babe. Good morning, Atia. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome into the morning tea. So we are going to jump right into it today because I don't want Mr. Techie to have to run away before we dig into this this morning with this car buying experience. Artistry, good morning. Lola, Linda, good morning. Welcome to the morning tea. Shannon, there is no big B-U-T. There is no big B-U-T. Get your life together. Get your life together. Make, make a new routine. Your choices today will affect your tomorrows, okay? We don't want no Coke body, no, no, no diet Coke body tomorrow. The Diet Coke bodies of tomorrow is broke down. Get it together, Shannon. Get it together. So do different. Enjoy your, enjoy your one today. Tomorrow, I need you to be doing something different, something better and different, okay? Better and different. Uh, we will still be here while you cleaning your desk. <laughs> Shelly's. Shelly's. No. <laughs> Sunshine and sweet tea. Good morning. Sweet tea's like sweet tea's always the way to go. Morning, noon, or night. Good morning, Justin Bay. How you doing? Welcome to the morning tea. Tanisha. Uh Tanisha's like, um, I got my coffee. I got my coffee. Tan Tanisha, you, you got your coffee. Okay. So we gonna we're gonna dig in with a word of prayer. Because we need the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit right now. Okay, we need them, all three of them right now to be present in this here situation. Okay, we need them to be present because, oh, diamond, them put milk, good milk, a puss mouth, and then them expect puss for don't grieve. But anyway, let, let's get into it. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for waking each and every one of us up this morning. Father, Lord, every single one that is on this roll call this morning, those that are not able to make it, those that are watching the replay, Heavenly Father, those that um, are silent and just, just listening, Heavenly Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for waking up our friends, our family members, our loved ones, those that are related to us by affection and by blood, oh God. We thank you for just choosing, Heavenly Father, to give us yet another day. Father, Lord, we deserve nothing, Father, Lord, but you are such a good father that whether we deserve it or not, you decide that you want to bless us. And so we thank you for your blessings today. We thank you for the new mercy that you have given us for today so that we can handle whatever comes our way today. Heavenly Father, help us keep our mind to keep our mind stayed on you, Father Lord, because it is the way that we should think. It is the way that we should be, Father Lord. Help us to be clothed and covered in the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Help us to know that we are overcomers and we are able to overcome everything that comes our way today. Heavenly Father, help us to trust you more today in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we want to trust you more today. Whatever we fail to ask for, Father, fail not to grant it unto us. Amen, amen, and amen. Mm. Okay, let me see if this is too hot. Amen. Belinda King, welcome. Come on into the room. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So um, what I want to share with you on the couponing deal before we get started, which is only two quick things, two quick things. Number one, if you're going to be going to um, Walgreens and you're going to be doing the Nivea deal and you have coupons, I only bought one double stack of newspaper this week. So I only had two, two of the $3 off two coupons. So I purchased four of these. Well, it's not the same exact one, like four Nivea products. I purchased four Nivea products. My suggestion would be for you to purchase five Nivea products. There's a $1 off Nivea coupon. Use that $1 off Nivea coupon on the, the, on the, the fifth one, okay? Because this is $6.60. If I add, if I had, my total was $25. If I added one more, I would have gotten another $5 back. Six sixty minus five dollars. That would have been a dollar and sixty cents. And with the dollar coupon, it would have been sixty cents. 
<gasps> so I missed out because, you know, I didn't go beyond what my coupon said at that point yesterday. So um, for those of you who are thinking of going to the store to get these, even if you're not using any coupon and you just want to go get some Nivea because it's a good deal for you, it's 25% off, you spend $10, you get $5 back, go ahead and get five of them. Make sure that your total is $30. So then you get $15 back. Y'all, can you imagine you spend $30 on your Nivea, you get $15 back to spend on anything else in the store. And that's that's if you decide that you're going in for a plunge to make an investment, okay? Uh, Miss Woodley, good morning. But I had um, coupons and things that I used, of course. So that was the upgrade. Uh, that was update number one. Update number two. I can't believe y'all didn't tell me about this. I, di I can't believe y'all didn't tell me about this. Okay. Y'all. Y'all. This Sheila G. Brownie Brittle. Okay. Sheila G. need to pay me for this advertisement. But anyway, she ain't paying me nothing. Why y'all ain't tell me about this nonsense? Y'all remember there was an Ibotta deal on this. So it's two for $4 at Walgreens this week. There's a I, Ibotta that gives you back a dollar off on, on each one. So it would end up making it a dollar a piece. I used Walgreens money to pay for it. Don't make nothing to me. And then um, Fetch had a dollar back also. So I end up paying 50 cents each for the first set. And then the sec this is the second set. Um, and this is... Um, so it's going to be like 75 cents because now it's 50 cents back on fetch. Right. So let me tell you something. Let, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Oh, let me tell you something. If you do not want another thing to be addicted to. Don't do Don't go get this. Don't go get this. I'm telling you right now. I'm seriously all straight up. Do not go buy this. Uh. But this here, I ain't even give I, hubby's on right now. I ain't even give him none. I, this 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 one I got yesterday. I ain't give nobody none yet. Nobody. I'm still. I'm like no. I mean, let me let me let me settle that within myself that I got to share these. Okay. So now I have because I got four now. Yes, I could share that with y'all. But when I only had two, let me settle this within myself first. Y'all, it's the truth. It's it is. OK, and you will eat the whole bag if you are not careful. So uh, what I had to do was take out some and toss it in the back seat that I couldn't reach it. Mm. So I couldn't reach it. OK. Ooh -wee. Yes, Kim. Yes, yes, yes. So I I'm just saying you surely don't need to start with another sweet. It goes straight to your booty. Uh, Shannon, that ain't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it ain't go to my booty. I wish it did, but it did. It don't it don't um so yes ec did show another sneak peek go to the erin condren instagram page and you'll see that it is y'all it's one of those remember those multicolored pens that we had back in school that had like 10 different pen colors on it they got one and it's in the seasonal surprise box okay so that plus you know the pen case we saw the pen case in the um in the the newsletter and then we saw um and then we saw then we saw the notebook on the ec website okay so mm, I, I i didn't get a chance to buy mine yesterday i didn't get a chance to buy mine yesterday at all let me just tell y'all yesterday was such a busy day it was such a busy day um, I, you know, came in and I still had work to do, um, last night and then I went to sleep and today I got more stuff to do. I got to take, um, uh, two of my babies are getting their back one and then the one needs to go to work. So I need to do that. Plus I need to do, start my packing, making sure I have everything I need, uh, and a bunch of stuff that, and, and, and I still got, a, um, uh, two files that I need to work on today too. So y'all, I got a busy day today. Um, before your uh launch day order oh i don't i don't think so tanisha i don't think so i don't think so i think i think i think i think all launch day orders will probably be be out and done in the next um very shortly once everything is back once everything is back i do shannon i do have three i got three of them girl number one number two and number three number <laughs> 
Number one, number two, and number three, Jarena, good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so, so, um, yes, I don't mind. I'm okay. We okay. We good. We good. This is, we good. You got your shipping notice uh, for the launch? Yes, good, Kim. Good, good. So, yeah, they'll come. They'll come. They'll come. But I'm telling you, they never expected the, 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 they never expected it because the A5 products are flying off the shelf. They ain't probably ain't got no more A5 products on the shelf. They got to be making these now. They got to be making them now. Okay. So that's, that's what's happening. That's what's happening. I'm one, I'm sure you need good morning. Welcome. So let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started on this car buying experience. OK, so what's the basis of the story? Let's say go with the basis of the story. Y'all remember Mother's Day. I did my little Instagram live Mother's Day. OK. What Mother's Day, I did my Instagram live. Number two was in the car. Y'all heard number two and his negotiating skills. OK, y'all heard number two. And Lola, that's good, 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 Lola. So anyway, because we had some issues going on with the car that we purchased um, for number two, now we got to work on something else because he needs a vehicle. OK, we got to work on something else. So he needs a vehicle. So we said, OK, uh, Tim, why don't you give number two your car and daddy will get you another vehicle? right? Let's just go ahead and do that. All right. You know, I, I love my car. I love my car. I got no issues with my car. I love my car. So I said, all right, no problem. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay. In the beginning, number number two was too good for my car. Cause you know how these new age churns be. These new age churns. Okay. They want Hot boys need a hot ride. <laughs> hot boys need a hot ride. Okay. They don't need the old people type luxury cars. Right. They need the hot car. They need a hot boys car. Sorry. You know, I mean, you can't be driving around being a hot boy in your grandma's Avalon. <laughs> Well, this hot boy has to. <laughs> this hot boy is going to have to do exactly that. So with him getting it now, I need to get a vehicle. So we decided it was one of two things that we were going to do. We either going to need to do a pickup truck or we'll do another minivan. Why? Because Tamara loves her minivans and she loves hauling things. And Tamara loves... I, I have not owned a pickup truck. The closest I've gotten to a pickup truck was the Denali, right? And, but the pickup truck also would be good for moving things. Like I have a box spring and a mattress that I don't want to pay people to move. You, you understand? So uh, that plus if we're buying furniture items, anything like that, that we can move ourselves because it ain't cheap in these neck of the woods, right? To get somebody to deliver stuff sometimes. Okay. So there's that narrowed it down. Husband started looking around and husband came back and husband said, wife, um, Shannon, he has an Avalon. He's got a, one of the newer body style Avalons. I've got one of those two Oh eight body style Avalons, which I think is beautiful. I love it. I think it is beautiful. The space, the comfort. Oh, I love it. I don't like small, small cars or small vehicles. If I'm going to get a pickup truck, y'all know I was about to get the twin, the twin cab with the extended bed. You know, I'm about to get that. It's either grandma car or the butt. Exactly. Exactly. Melly, good morning. So, um, Hubby came back and hubby said, okay, boo, I think you should go on ahead and go get a minivan because when you look at the amount of driving around that you, you do sometimes, I mean, the minivan might be better. Sugar, good morning. The minivan might be better 
uh, for your mileage wise. Okay, mileage wise, the minivan might be better. Shalise! <laughs> It might be a squirrel or two, Shalise. We going squirreling, squirrel hunting. <laughs> oh my God, Shalise, don't give me ideas. Don't give me ideas because it's quite possible. It's quite possible. So anyway, he came back and he said that. I was a little bit, uh, oh my God, uh, oh my God. Get it, I mean, not a pickup. Like I was looking forward to driving you know i was like can we look at a tundra can we look at a tundra okay can we look at a tundra if not mm, what we getting right uh running back and forth to walgreens exactly shannon exactly exactly parking the big truck in cvs it's okay i know exactly where to park in cvs for that i i know exactly where to park in cvs and walgreens it don't matter the store i know exactly where to park with it I know exactly where to park with it. Um, Belinda, good morning. So I was like, ah, oh, I don't get to experience a pickup. So I decided not to make a fuss because I know I've had experiences with minivans. I've had a Toyota Sienna and I've had a Nissan Quest. So I've had experiences with minivans and you know that I love them anyway. I love them too. So uh, I don't mind going back to that, even though it would have been good to experience something new. Let me tell you, Shannon, that F-150 is nice. Yes, yes, yes. That F-150 is nice. Justin, no, you don't get the parking spot near the front. You get the parking spot closer to the back. You get your step counts in, Justin, except in the wintertime. OK, but all other times we get the parking spot to the back. Um, you were going to install your washi in the case. Yes. Good, good, good floor. Um, Flores, I'm glad you got something. Yes. So, so we started looking online, um, yesterday, you know, we were, I was trying to look yesterday, but I was so, so busy. So I said to hubby, hubby, because we're now looking for this minivan and hubby has already told me that I cannot get the same Nissan Quest that I had before. And I loved it. What was that? I think it was a 05. I think it was a 05. Let me tell you that 05 Nissan Quest body style. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. The 05 body style. I love it. So you know, I'm like, can we just get a new 051? Like, can we find somebody to get a new, newer 051? So um, I was like, okay, no problem. We can't get that. Look up, you know, Honda, the Honda Odyssey, the Toyota Sienna, and the Nissan Quest, and look up the levels. You know, because you've got the um, the LE, the SEs, the S's, the EL, the EXs, the EXLs. You've got all of this stuff in the different um, ones so I can have an idea of what I'm going to be looking for. Can you look that up for me? I was driving back to pick up. I was driving back from Michael's right after we dropped off one to his recruiter's office. Hubby picked him up from the recruiter's office and took him to work. OK, so I was driving back to go pick up um, one and, and take him to I mean, pick him up from work to take him home. Y'all, yesterday was a day. It was a day. OK, it was a day with, with two working kids. Oh, my God. It was a day. So I asked him to look that up for me. He went to look it up. So in the process of him looking up, we talked about the year. So he said, OK, this is the minimum year that I think we should look into. Okay, I'm taking hubby's advice, right? I'm taking his advice like a good wife should take the hubby's advice into consideration. I'm taking his advice. So I said, okay, let me roll with the flow. I'm not gonna make a fuss. I'm not gonna insert my attitudes at all inside of it, okay? I went along for, for it, I went along. 
Cindy, how you doing? How you doing, Cindy? It's my story, Kurt. Mc hey, hey, calm down, calm down. It's my story. It's my story and my time. Okay, it's my story and my time. You like the last one? Okay, Justin. So, uh, uh, after he looked that up, he started looking for some vehicles and sending me links to some vehicles. Mind you, he's sending me links to vehicles while I'm out trying to get my shopping on. Okay. So I was like, okay, this is time I was at Publix. I had 30 minutes to wait till the boy. So I went to Publix. I said, okay, can I get my shopping done first? Okay. Because I only have 30 minutes before he's ready. I was trying to, I was trying to work on one of my Ibotta deals. Okay. Okay. And get me some, y'all see on Instagram, I showed y'all those little field roasts things the corn dogs oh my god i love corn dogs i'm gonna make some today for for 40 cents they end up being like 40 cents after the ibotta and the coupon i'm gonna go back and get me five more packs today anyway i was trying to get my stuff on and concentrate so i could get out of there on time and he's sending me vehicles i said okay can you just put it send them to my email send it to my email and i'll take a look at it when i get in because i want to be able to see it you know, I mean, looking at something on a screen that's like this compared to a, a screen, literally on my screen. I don't know. How many inches is this, um, Mr. Techie? 27 inches? It's different when you look at a vehicle on a 27-inch screen than when you look at something that's on like five. Okay? And it's even five this ones. Anyway. So send it to me that way. I came in and I, we started looking and we started talking about this vehicle. I don't. I'm not, I'm not like bells and whistles. You, if it's included, it's good. If it's included, it's good. That's me. My husband loves the bells and the whistles when it comes to a vehicle for himself, right? He loves the bells and the whistles. Bells and whistles is okay. It's okay. But let me tell you what Tamara want. Let me tell you what I want. Okay. Cause, cause I mean, let me tell you what I want. Um, We've always owned either a black, a gray, or a burgundy car. I don't think we've ever owned any other. Well, the Denali ended up being the exception because that was white. Black, gray, burgundy. Okay. Um, the, oh, I know the Sienna was a, a, a like a goldy type of color as well. But anyway, so um, what I want, right? What I want, and I figure, I said, let me go ahead and put this out here now. Because if I can get it, if we're going to get a new a new vehicle, why not? What I would like, y'all know the um, when the Cadillac Escalades came out and they came out with that pearl color. Y'all, I want that. I want that pearl color. I want that pearl color. I want that pearl color. Forget. I mean, it don't matter. It, whatever, whatever you get me, I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it. But I want that pearl color. If it can come with that pearl color already, so I don't have to go pay somebody six, seven, eight hundred dollars to paint it, that will be even better. Okay, that will be even better. That pearl color, I want it. Okay, so that's number one. That's number one. That would you first of all, you you gonna get me to look at you if you that color, you're getting my eyes. You're getting my eyes. Number two, when I open the door to my vehicle, I want to be happy that I'm opening up the door to my vehicle and what I see when I look inside. OK, I want to be able to be happy when I open the door. I don't want to be cursing like why I got to get inside of this box. This is nasty. OK, what does that mean? I'm a neutral planner, babe, and I'm a neutral car person when it comes to the interior of a vehicle. My husband's interior is like black. Just close my eyes when I open the door. Fires. Fire fire. You listen. Y'all see how he behave it. Y'all see how he behave it. That's how he behave it. OK, right. So so I I want no, I want me my neutrals. OK, see the neutral back. I want me my neutrals. I want my neutral. I want a whole vehicle that matches my planner. <laughs> he said, who does that? <laughs> So the inside of my vehicle, I cannot do black. I cannot do black seats. I cannot do red seats. I cannot do gray seats. I cannot do, 
Um, if the gray is a dark gray that looks too black, I can't do it. I need something lighter. I need something lighter than that. My seats right now um, uh, are very, very light. Okay, very light. I'm okay. Because what they do, what they do, y'all, no, it's not going to be Petri. What they do is they give you the dark seats and then they want to give you a dark rug. So it makes the inside of it look like you're inside of a dark box. We're not doing this. So anyway, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna show y'all something. So anyway, um, he said, go ahead and look up, you know, X, Y, and Z. Okay, he said, go ahead and look up this vehicle. He showed me two. He sent me three. He sent me three vehicle in the email. I started to look at the three vehicles in the email. I started to look at the three vehicles in the email, right? And I should have I should pull this up on my um thing because y'all would see it better if I did it that way. Anyway, three vehicles. I started looking at them. He said, no, don't bother looking at this one. So we had two choices. The two choices was a uh 20, 20, 20, was it a 2015 or 2016 quest? Okay, 2015, 2016 quest. Or uh, one of those two years, 2015, 2016, um, Odyssey, right? Um, <laughs> so it was one of those two. So I started looking at the two of them. The, the quest, y'all, let me tell y'all, the quest was like absolutely perfect. The quest was like absolutely perfect. The inside was cream. The outside was the pearl color, okay? The inside was cream and the outside was that pearl color. I don't even know if I have it on here. Uh, but we're going to fast forward that section. The other one, <clears throat> the Odyssey, the inside was a darker gray. It was a darker gray, but the outside was a pearl color. So it had a plus and then it, <clears throat> then it had the minus with the inside. The, the Quest had 78,000 miles on it, okay? The Odyssey had 149,000 miles on it, okay? So, so. <laughs> Karen, good morning. How you doing? So, um, we had those two and then. I was like, okay, bet, buy the Quest. Tell the people to buy it and deliver it. They do a delivery service. I said, bet, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It had the captain seats that I like. It, you know, it's good. Buy it, perfect. Click the button, baby. Click the button. He said, you know, he said to me, y'all, he said, put the stallions back in the barn. <laughs> I'm like, you showing me something and then you're going to tell me to put my stallions back in the barn. Buy it. Bet. Get it. So then he was like, but you hear when he said, but he was like, but, but why would you get the quest when you can get the Honda, right? Why would you get the quest when you could get the Honda? First of all, Negro, you sent it to me. You the one who sent it to me. You the one who sent it to me. So we had this long conversation. And he went up there looking on websites of people um, doing their their uh, comparison of the Quest versus the Honda and the ratings and the reliability. And he went through all the story, y'all, because you know he was selling that Honda. He was he was shut about a Honda, right? Shut about a Honda. He was selling this Honda. So I said, okay. Flores, we had a quest before too, and I loved it. Okay, I love quests. I love, I love the quest. Cause I, that's what I said to him. I said, if I had to choose the two, buy it. He said, so you would buy it because it had all the other features, but it's not as reliable as or as safe as the um as the the the, the Honda. I said, people buy the quest all day, every day. Uh, not every day. It break down. If you take care of your vehicle, nine out of 10, your vehicle going to be good. But we didn't do such a good job taking care of a lot of our vehicles, especially when your vehicle has high mileage, like 149,000 miles. You got to take care of those things, right? You got to take care of those things. So he said, but 
So he kept on using that B word, y'all. He kept on using that B word. He kept on using that but word. So he said, but, I mean, it's a safety thing. You know, we don't have a good track record with taking care of people. He said, it's a safety thing. I said, okay, bet. I said, let me go and take a look because y'all know what I do. Once I once you say, okay, this is what we want, I'm like, okay, let me go and do more research. Let me go watch a video. He was like, go watch this video that shows you the video of the vehicle. What year was the vehicle, Kirk? Was it like a 25th? I think it was like a 2015. What year was that Honda? So I was looking for Honda. Yes, yes, Flores, two sliding doors. So I was watching this, this video that popped up. It was a 2016. So I was watching one little video and the video said, okay, the body style of it changed and they had a little bit of upgrades done to it in the 20, I think 2016, 2017, 2018 or 19 is when they changed it again, made some other updates, whatever, no problem. Let me go see this 2017 that y'all talking about because they said the 2017 is like at the top of the line in that whole entire body style. Let me go look at this 2017 and see what y'all talking about. Cause I'm a quest girl. You understand? I'm a quest girl. And if you're going to make me buy a Honda, we're going to buy a Honda. So I went and I looked at the video and this was brand spanking new 2017. It's on YouTube. It's 30 whole minutes y'all. 30 whole minutes. I sat there with the dude. We went under the car, above the car, in the car, around the car. We looked in every nook and cranny of the car. So what was the, what was the model? What was that model uh, uh, of that 2016 that you was doing? Uh, it was a touring, right? Was it a touring? Is it, is that the name of them? Riddick, good morning. Riddick, good morning. Okay. It was like a touring or something. Okay. So I said, let me go and take a look. And you know how they suggest videos. And this video was suggested. So I went and I looked at the video because this was the top of the line. And it just so happened that it was a 2017 Touring Elite. Y'all, I watched that video for 30 minutes. 15 minutes into the video, I sent a message to my husband. I sent him the link. I said, this is it. Go ahead and buy it. Go ahead and buy it. <laughs> So let me tell you what this little thing, this thing has. Okay. One thing I, in the beginning, when we were looking for, for the decided to get the vehicle, I told my husband, one thing that is non-negotiable, one thing that is non-negotiable. I cannot have any, any vehicle that I have to push a key into the ignition to start. It's unacceptable. It's, it's unac unacceptable. We won't do that. We can't do that. You understand? Because that's asking for trouble. That's asking for trouble. So we can't do that. Uh, no, we ain't doing that. This particular one, okay, the, the 2017 Touring Elite, push start. Great. Next feature, it has, when I walk up to, the, to my car door right now, I push my hand inside of the handle and it opens automatically. I don't got to take my keys out of my hand. I don't got to take it out my bag. You understand? You can't make me go from that and then put me back into something where I got to pull out the key out my bag and I got to press a button to open up my car. What kind of downgrade is this? What kind of downgrade in life is this? Jesus said he, he came so I could prosper. That's not prospering. So this touring elite, it has that. I can I could press the button on the handle to close it. I can push my hand in the handle to open it. Done. We we winning. We're winning. We are winning. So watch the video a little bit further. The dude went into the trunk. OK, the dude went into the trunk and there was a compartment on the right hand side of the trunk and he opened up the compartment. Why this minivan got a whole vacuum inside of it? It's over. Buy the vehicle It buy it. Buy the vehicle. I don't know. That is the one right there. We we going to find it some way, somehow. I don't know. We gonna pr It's prayer and fasting time. Buy the vehicle. It's got a whole vacuum and the vacuum stretches from the trunk area all the way to the front of the vehicle. I'm going to need you to go ahead and buy that vehicle. I don't want nothing else. 
I don't want nothing else. I mean, I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I really don't care. You could go if it has it in the tw- in 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 the, tw- in the 2016. Go on ahead and get it. I don't care what color the outside is as long as the inside's right because I'm gonna paint it. But what I need you to understand is, you see those couple features. I'm gonna need that because you you, you put you put the taste in my mouth, and now you're gonna want to try to withdraw. Ain't no withdrawing from this. There's no backing up. There is no backing up. I don't care about no dirt devil. I want the vacuum that's in the vehicle, okay? So we got that. Not only does it have that, y'all, in the front, in the front where you sit at, there's a little hook. Y'all know how, like, I've got a trash bag. I don't know if it's if it's only me, but I got a little trash bag that's hanging on my gear stick <laughs> to put the trash in, okay? So there's a little hook at the front of the vehicle that you can hook your trash bag on. And you, it's right there. Yes, buy the vehicle. Buy the vehicle. I'm gonna need you to buy the vehicle. Okay. I still can program my um my my garage door. It's got it. Buy the vehicle. B- buy the vehicle. Now, a big thing for me was a big thing for me was the I love the captain chair look of the Nissan. Um, quest, and I think some of the Siennas have them too. You could either do bucket or you could do the captain. Um, so I love that. The seats inside of the second row of the Odyssey, you can actually pull the seats completely out. So if I don't want that bucket seat in the middle, um, that center, that third seat, I could pull that third seat out, still have my captain seat. And even those two captain seats can come out. So if I want to haul things like when we go to Lowe's and Home Depot to pick things up, we just push it straight in there. We push it straight in there, straight in there. We don't buy the vehicle, buy the vehicle. OK, so now. After I have done watch this video, figured out that these are the things I'm okay with, and I'm I'm good with this. You want me to buy the Honda? Buy the Honda. Buy the Honda. Then, then, then my husband is going to be looking at me twisted, y'all. Now he's looking at me twisted. Like, who sent you to touring elite? Who sent you to a touring elite? Like, I didn't send you all the way to 2017 touring elite. Uh, that's not where I sent you. Hence, where the problem lies. <laughs> yes, you did. 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 You sent me there. You sent me there. And now this is the result of what, what happened. You sent me there. And I'm the kind of person, if I see it, I want it. My eyes are stuck on it. I, I There's a restaurant, y'all. I told y'all, Arizona's. I go there. I order the same thing every time. That's the only thing I want off your menu. Don't offer me nothing else. This is what I want because you do it and you do it well. I'm satisfied with it every time I get here. Every time I come here, this is what I eat. I love it because y'all do it and you do it well. I, I'm going to need that Honda Touring Elite. Let me see if I can pull this car up. Mm. Let me see if I can pull this car up, y'all, because this car is sexy. Mm. This car be sexy. Okay? This car is sexy. I'm going I'm to sh- Ah! This car was sexy. So, um, let me look. Let me go pull it up for y'all, because, yes, so no. Is there a morning tea this Thursday or Friday? Angie, um, Thursday morning, no, not Thursday morning, no morning tea, but on Friday, yes. No morning tea Thursday morning, but on Friday, yes. I'll post probably on Instagrams, little updates, stuff like that, but no morning tea on Thursday, but yes, on Friday. So let me go. And and see if I can pull this thing up for y'all. Because, yeah, this is how we about to roll. I'm going to show y'all this car that Mr. Techie trying not to get for me. Okay? Or one like it. You doing a new nerve? <laughs> Boy, if that, listen, don't be, try, don't be trying to get your way 
when when you done introduce me to something that's not that that not that not how that work okay that's a different perk that's a different day perk you you, you gonna cash at me because i need i need to go go shopping cash at me and we'll talk about nooners okay ain't nothing going on but the rent let's go let's go huh ah. you have to have okay jesse okay keep us posted Whatever will you do on Thursday? <laughs> Justin, we don't have to get Diamond to do the morning tea on her channel. Diamond, is you still here? Is you still in the building? We don't have to get Diamond to keep y'all company on Thursday. Let's see if we can get this vehicle. And show y'all. Okay, I clicked it. So why are you not trying to come up? Please click it. Please click it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm clicking it. Oh boy. Diamond is not available. She's off on cloud. <laughs> Kurt, behave yourself. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, this is not it. Oh, they got another one. Oh, boo, they got another one that only has 20,000 miles on there. But anyway, this is not the one, the exact one. I, they probably sold it. I would, I would not like that if they sold my car. <sighs> Let me bring up these picture for y'all. So y'all can see the beauty. Okay. Wait. Look at that. Y'all, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Let me see the inside of this one. I hope this is not the same one. Let me see if. Oh man. Yeah. Oh yeah, the color is good. Hey Riddick. Yes, it's beautiful. The inside color. So that's that's not the same exact one, but it's like that I saw initially, let me show you the one that I saw initially. So, but, but it's, it's pretty much almost the same. Oh, wait, wait. That's why I try to give it to y'all the bigger picture because this thing don't want to um, focus. It wouldn't want to focus. It wouldn't want to focus. It, thank you, Lola. Thank you, Lola. Lola said it has Tamara all over it. Thank you, Lola. Thank you, boo. Thank you, boo. It Because it is that elite version, it will come with the navigation. I mean, I don't care about that. I use my phone. I don't care about navigation in a car. It will have the backup camera, so it will have beep, beep. Anytime you have a minivan, it's important for you to have beep, beep, especially if you're around young children. Children are too small for you to not have beep, beep, okay, which is the backup, your backup sensor as well. You don't like leather, leather interior? Oh, um, I don't. It, mm, I've always had leather interior. So I don't mind having a um, cloth interior now that my children are bigger. Hey, Andy Nigel, how are you? So it does have a DVD player as well. It does have a DVD player for those who want to play their their videos. Hey, this is the COVID era. Um, um, date nights out in the car. It, it has a beautiful shape and size sunscreen um, or sunroof. It has a beautiful shape and size sunroof. The sunroof is really good. What the heebie-jeebies? What are you doing? Yeah, the sunroof is really good as well. Let's see if it will show us the vacuum. So there is the buttons in the minivans, in the um, minivans, you have a button that will open up your left and open up uh, your left and right doors. Plus, if you pull the handle, 
it, um, if you're on the outside, it will automatically open for you as well once you're close to it. So I like that. Um, we see the push start. We see that. We see the rows. Let's look at the third row. So you have grandchildren. Okay, okay. Well, I think the leather seats are kind of easy to clean too. So this middle seat right here, this is the one I'm talking about, the little small seat. That's the one that I would want to come completely out. And you're able to take it out completely in this. You're able to take it out completely. So it'll be easier for people to walk in and just go straight to the back seats if necessary, if necessary. If necessary. So if you look right here, this is where the vacuum is. So you just pull this down and it stretches. If you can clean your trunk and stretch out, that is so handy. That is so handy. Yeah, that is so, so handy. So I like that. Um, and then the back seats, they fold down like that, or you could drop them completely down into the trunk, which I like for space. And then you just pull those out completely. They're pretty heavy to pull out though. They're, um, okay, you really have a great day. You'll miss them on your Lexus. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, he can't, he can't, you, you can't tell somebody, oh, uh, X, oh, let me show y'all another feature. That's so cool on here. So this is for the, oh, this thing is getting on my nerve now. Okay. It's getting on my nerve now. It's one of the last pictures that they have up here anyway. So this is so cool. This is the um, the video. This is a widescreen for the, the video, the DVD. You see this right here? You can leave it up here and use it as a controller or you can actually take it out because it's a remote control. So you could leave it up there and use it and program from up top or you could pull it out and, and control. It's the remote control. So that's cool as well. So y'all, I don't even know. This dude is like, is like, I don't know who sent you, who sent, uh, are we buying brand new? No, we're not buying brand new. Okay. We're not buying brand new because brand new is like about $40,000. We ain't trying to have that. Brand new is like about $40,000. Brand new is like about $40,000. Uh, no, Andy, we're, it's, it was either a minivan because we like hauling things. And, and I know that those can hold the things that we haul. So, <coughs> and that's another reason. Um, and that's another reason why I kind of, um, it, a lot of the, a lot of the features don't really matter for me a lot of times because we don't have small children anymore. So for me, just make sure that my the color on the inside is right. Make sure that my keyless entry push start um, is good. And if it's a minivan, I need the beep beep. I need the backup sensors. I need because minivans have big booties. They got big long booties. So you need to have a backup sensor and make sure you're not running over nothing small. So, so he sent me there to the Honda Odyssey, um, uh, the elite version. And now he's going to talk about who sent you to the touring elite, who sent you to the touring elite. So y'all, we are putting this in prayer. Okay. We are putting this in prayer so we could get one and get one with no accidents at a good price as well um 2017 so i'm just gonna go and check the next thing i'm gonna go and check um <laughs> is if all of those features come in like the 2016s and maybe 2015s as well so maybe i'll downgrade a little bit for him uh you want the new escalate washington if uh if if oh mm, that's exactly what i want to washington Escalate. Listen, I would buy both of them. I would buy the the, the open back um, pickup Escalade, and I would buy the regular um, uh, truck Escalade or SUV Escalade. I'd buy both of them. I'm like, there's no choosing. I'm gonna get both of them, and both of them gonna be in that same pearl color. 
both of them going to be the, if I had a way to do it, I would do exactly that. Exactly that. Both of them. It's like the plan of covers. Like, no, I'm not choosing between the, the, the black and the, the caramel. I'm going to get both of them. I'm just going to get both of them. I might get one now, but I'm going to get the other one later too. Just, just expect it. Expect it to come. Does not get base model. So, so Indonesia, he sent me almost like the base model to look at. And then we started this whole conversation. I was okay with number three in safety, according to how it ranks, which is the Nissan Quest. Then the Sienna, um, then the Honda is number one. So one, two, and three. I was okay. I told him, go ahead and buy number three. He's the one, Andy Nigel, who said, who said, but why would you choose these visible features over safety? Y'all, let me tell you how far he went. Let me tell y'all how far my husband went with it. This is how far my husband, I was okay with the quest. But then you went ahead and increased my, my, my appetite. There you go. He started comparing the two vehicles to planners. He said the Honda is like buying an Aaron Condren with the good paper. Why would you want to go ahead and buy something else? Like you see what he said? A notebook where the paper's not that good. done done so i tried to explain to him i tried to explain to him i tried to explain to him y'all i said listen even though the erin conjured is the top of the line you still got the happy planner and i'm still gonna buy it and use it because it's got the disc it's got it has the cover it has the features that really and truly you need to be able to do certain things. So while they might not be the same, they do still serve the purposes. And the, you know, the happy plan is less expensive, but it works. It works as well. And it's not like buying a recollections because then, you know, it's not like buying a recollection. He, the man said, why would you want to do that? So I said, bet. I said, bet. Bet bet so i went ahead and i watched the video and i picked my ec car i picked my ec car okay as a matter of fact i'm glad you said that diamond because you even upgraded from ec to no teak because the no teak is more than the ec i you first of all if you buy the no teak i'm gonna need you to not complain about buying no urn conjuring planner because this it, the no teak is even higher than the EC. So he done upgraded to the EC. He done upgraded from the EC to the, 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 the no teak. Bet. 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 That's where you want to go? No problem. We upgraded to that. So now he want to complain. You don't be complaining about the bill when you made the statement why would you choose okay i am choosing the safest car on the market you just paying for my safety that's all just like for the ec we pay for the paper we pay for the fact that it helps us to stick to one thing we pay for the fact that it helps us to stick to one thing and it helps us to, and, and the good good paper and the thick coils the big juicy coils the big juicy coils you know what that is that's that vacuum cleaner in that car that's that vacuum cleaner in that car. Okay. That's what that is right there. That that that's what that is right there. The, the, the vacuum cleaner is a big juicy coil. It's a big juicy coil. And we need the big juicy coil. We need it. Okay. Because when we start stickering, aka shopping, we need space. We need space to be able to hold all the, the goodies for my shopping trips. Okay. We need that space. For all of that so exactly lex thank you welcome lex welcome welcome so you don't be trying to tell me to increase my my taste level like you need to increase your taste level and then when i increase my taste level you have a problem with it we don't do that we don't do that so that is the one i want 
We just need to find one. Enable call cards, sir. Thank you, Andy. Ah, yo, yo, good morning. We are here talking with the hubby about vehicle shopping. We are going vehicle shopping, and it is day, it is day two, day one, and we are already having issues. Okay. Already having issues. You the one who said. Go ahead and choose something. You know, why would you choose? Why would you choose, as Andy Nigel would say, why would you choose the trash paper over the good EC paper? So I chose, you know, so I looked at the good EC paper with the big juicy coil, and then I realized that I could upgrade also to the Notique. So we upgrade into the Notique. Yeah, he said Franken Van, girl. He said I could Franken Van. I need the inside color. The inside color needs to be right, and I need to have. I, I mean, I think my features. I think my features that I absolutely need are very small and minimal. Just get it to me. Just get go get it. Go get it. Go get it. I need the, the inside color need to be right. My keyless start. My keyless entry. Beep beep when I open. Press the button to close and the vacuum in the back. Make sure the third row seat can come out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Most of the cars that we have purchased have all been high mileage vehicles. Okay. Most of the vehicles we have purchased have been high mileage um, vehicles. We don't like to do car payments, but of course, on some we've had to because no, I'm not about to give you $20,000. Uh, I, 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 I'm not about to give you twenty thousand dollars like that, like 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 that. No, no, we're not giving you twenty thousand. So some we do finance like that. So this would be a um, finance vehicles, but a lot of them we've just paid outright cash for it and purchased it, and we good because we don't like car payments like that. But but this one here, yes, yes. So we've gotten the higher mileage vehicles, especially you can you can you can get a higher mileage vehicle when you're dealing with a Honda, when you're dealing with the Toyotas, when you're dealing with the Nissans, you could you could you could do something that's higher mileage and you'll be OK with because, you know, that stuff is going to run straight into the ground. It's going to dig its own self into the ground. That's how 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 uh, they, they will run. They will run because I think we have over 200 on my car right now. Was over 200. That minivan was well over 200 too before um, um, it left uh, as well. Um, K, K Mac, maybe we should just go pick up pick up the the the, the quest from your mama and fix it. Doll, that's a whole other saga. Okay, maybe we should go pick it up from your mama and fix it. What you say? Put like put like six 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 thousand into it and fr and Frank and Van it, Frank and Van it, paint it the color I want. Ah, uh, what you talking about? <laughs> oh. Uh, you drive a lot. You want to keep it for a while. Uh, you're about five years. The electric car will be the norm. Exactly. So I asked him too, Andy. I said, do you think they can make this exact vehicle, in vehicle into an electric vehicle? He said, that's going to be too much modifications. I'm like, dang. If Tesla comes out with a vehicle, a minivan that's just like this Touring Elite, I would buy it. I'd buy. I mean, it probably would be about sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. I'd buy it though. I'd buy it. I'll be around here hustling. I'll be like, no, what, what you doing today, Tamara? Oh, we running Uber. We doing Uber Eats today. We doing Uber Eats today. Cause no, we paying for this vehicle. Get yourself a car broker. Yo, yo, we do have a credit union um, that, that has a car finder service as well. But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do next is 
I'm going to the same features and color that I like. I'm going to look and see if it's in a, if it's in a, um, if it's in a 2016, if it's in a 2015, I'm going to see what years those exact features are in. I don't want to go above a 2017 because on other comparison videos, real life people owning what they like and what they don't like about the vehicles, the 2019s, 2018s seem to have some issues that I don't even want to deal with. I don't even want to, I don't even want to think about it. And that's when they upgraded and changed some things. So, you know, they have a space of a year, a couple years where the vehicles are the same. They don't really change much about it. And then they change. Right. So, I mean, there's a couple years where they only change a small thing. That's, that's that, 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 that range that I'm in right now, but higher than that, they change too much extra. Like, like it's just too much more computerization than I really want. Cause I don't want to have, first of all, I don't want to have to go get a new degree in car just to understand how to work my car. I don't need to, I don't need to go get a new degree. I don't want to go get a new degree. I don't want to do that. I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And that's what this would be. It'd be a whole entire degree, especially with all the uh, screens, knobs, turning, pressing this to be able to do this. I don't want to go get a degree. Scotty Kilmer. Yes, I've watched a couple of his videos on some other things too. Don't recommend the 2019. Yeah. And this was like actually from a owner owner as well. They have electric bikes too. <laughs> Justin needs one. Justin Justin's going to get one. Justin said he'd rather a, a, a walk. <laughs> Justin, did you say you'd rather walk? But it's a bike, not a car friend has used a car broker for the last three to four vehicles. He goes to the dealership, test drive the car and um, broker does the deal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I've got to make sure that I have down pack the year range range just to make sure that, that that's not the only year that this thing is available in. So that would give more options. Cause when you have a one year that is very limited, very limited, your 1991 uh, has 315,000. That's incredible. That's incredible. Not necessarily, Andy. Not necessarily. Some people would think it is, but it's not necessarily. Like they go out there, they look for what you want, and they just, you know, present it to you this X, Y, and Z, and they do the paperwork. You just tell them what you want. You tell them what you want. Not necessarily. I mean, imagine though. Uh, imagine how when you're purchasing a car, the stress that you go through in order to, to buy that vehicle. I'm sorry. No, let me give you let me give you a little a little change. You go deal with that. Make the best deal possible. And, you know, they're going to be able to have access to all the valuation um, um, equip, so, um, software. They're going to have all of that. So they're going to be able to say, OK, yes, this is a good deal or not a good deal. You would have to figure it out. Imagine if I've got to go through through 20, 30 dealers or websites and all this stuff to check to look into stuff. No. So the only thing I'm going to really do is, like I said, look about um, look about what year range those colors and features are available in that I want or I need. So and it's just a couple of them. Right. So I just got to make sure I look in the year range as well. Yeah. So once I find that information out and what the, uh, you know, the pricing, the average pricing is for those things, you're good. So you would have an idea um, of what you're dealing with as well. But yeah, 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 yeah. Like try, try, try the credit unions, because like I said, we uh, have a credit union and the credit union does have that car finder service that you can use, that you can utilize um as well so try and see whoever you know you're getting your vehicle through as well but y'all that is drama part one that's drama part one drama part one i don't know what is next or what is upcoming like i said i got my homework that i'm gonna do and i'm gonna do that rather quickly and then just do a little basic search to see what exactly is out there um uh, so I have that idea or that clue, write it down. So I have it, but 
I need y'all to be in prayer on my new vehicle so we can get this. We don't have a whole lot of time. We don't have a whole lot of time to, 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 to decide. We got to get one pretty, pretty quickly. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, I just want it to be something that's going to last us a while and something that we're satisfied with. Something we're satisfied with that's going to last us a while and that we don't have any buyer's remorse when we buy it. Okay? At all. So that's that. Ah! But um that's it so today's tuesday so i've got to finish up the rest of my tasks from yesterday got to finish up the rest of my tasks from yesterday let's take this off so i still have my stickies well let me move this sticky i still got some stickies from yesterday so i'm going to my monday task got done so i'm going to write in my tuesday task I'm going to write in my Tuesday task now and continue with my Tuesday task. Yes. Continue with the Tuesday task because we got stuff to do. We got stuff to do. Ah, oh, BM Mercedes, the BMW to Lamborghini. Oh, my goodness. Look at Unique. Unique, Unique got a whole lot of upgrading to you. ND Niger, sweetheart. Mm, so glad to see you. So glad that you were able to stop in this morning. Um, as well. Have a wonderful and beautiful day. So I'll see y'all on Instagram um, throughout the day, possibly, maybe. We'll see how that works. Um, I've got to decide whether I'm going to color my hair today or wait until tomorrow. I'm thinking if I have the time today, I should probably do it because I don't want to pile too much into tomorrow to do either. I'm thinking of doing one deal at CVS when I go there today with the boys. I'm thinking of doing one deal that's going to give me a rebate. And then I need to go to Kroger. Um, I got $5 for 15 rebate on, um, on who? On Ibotta. So I've already done seven. So I'm going to do some at Kroger. Just a couple little ones at Kroger I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, I'm going to, what is the store that you're going to, Tamara? What is the store that you're going to? I'm going to um, Publix to get some more um, to get some more of that uh, field roast. I'm going to go grab that on my account, my Ibotta, because I'm stocking up. Even if I don't use all of them, I know that there's people that are um, that don't eat meat that will because those are, are, are meatless. Um, yes, I do use Fetch as well. Yo, yo, I do. I do use fetch as well um, and get some stuff. So this, 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 this was on fetch and I did this twice already. So I got back some, you know, little dollars on fetch. I've been looking for the popsicle so I could get my popsicle from fetch popsicle, but they don't have it at the Kroger. I didn't see it at the Walmart. I'm going to go check um, Publix. I'm going to go check Publix. No, I, it's not at Publix. It's not at Walmart. I'm going to check Kroger today as well and see so we'll see um those ones all right y'all so keep your 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 people kirk and tamra in prayer that um we can come to an agreement not only can we come to an agreement god will give us what we need all right so let us um move forward with that fetch has uh ten thousand points for a purchase at walgreens Okay, which, which, wait, 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 wait. Is this with the Unilever products, yo-yo? Is this with the Unilever products? Is that the one when you when you make $30, $30 purchase? Which one is it? Tell me which one it is. Okay, I've done, I did that already, girl. Girl, I did that. I did that. I think I did that when it first came out, the beginning of the month or last month when it first came out. I did that already. I did that already, sis. I did that twice. You could do it a maximum of two times. I did that two times already. The first the first week it came out, I done hit that. You just seen it? Yo, yo, open your eyes, baby girl. You almost missed it. Open your eyes. We out in these streets hitting it. 
We out in these streets hitting it. We are doing it. Yeah. So the only thing I am. Okay. Here's. The, oh, it's back again. Wait a second. Okay. Wait a second. It's back again. Oh, I could do it one, two, three, four times. Okay. I'm going back to the store. We're going, we going, we going, we going. So this is the rebate back on fetch for the prenup, pre, prenup, peanut brittle. It's hard to see it because it won't focus. So that's what a, the peanut brittle um, Unilever is in your hometown. Oh, Angela. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do this. It says it's at the bottom. I could redeem it three more times. It tell you I didn't check the bottom so I could redeem it three more times. So I'm, I'm there was no more at my Walgreens. So I don't know. I'm going to have to check another Walgreens. Um, did I, I did, I did check my receipts. I did check my receipts, Washington. So I know what's happened. And this is why I have this here. I know what happened. So this toothbrush rang up at 429 when it was supposed to be $4 and a part of the deal. So it looked like this one is not a part of the deal. So I'm going to go back to the store and, um, cause I'm passing there. So I'm going to go back to Walgreens and I'm going to see what the manager can do for me. Cause they're going to need to give me 5,000 points. They're going to need to do something. I'm going to probably either if they want me to exchange this for a different one, because this was marked in the store on the shelf for $4, uh, but it rung up $4.29 each and they didn't give me back my 5,000 points. So that's this. That was the issue right there. And if I had spent just a couple more, like maybe two, one to two more dollars, I would have gotten an extra $5.00 um from that booster i'm so mad at myself but it's okay because it was a tester deal and it wasn't something that i planned planned i just put it together while i was at the store so i'm okay with it and after i get back my five dollars from this it would have end up costing me like three dollars anyway because with the peanut brittle i'm turning back my money into cash money with the same peanut thing here so you have to contact the uh, Catalina for your ten dollars. Okay. Okay. I haven't contacted Catalina before. Let me know how that turns out and see if they say if you had to actually physically, bottom line, spend fifty dollars or what they're saying. Because if if you get yours, then I'll contact them and see if I can get mine. I've never contacted them for anything like that before. I usually be like, okay, take the product back. Just take it back. We don't, I don't, I don't go through all that mess sometimes. Sometimes it's just not, I can't be bothered. Um, especially when I done paid uh, using your store money already anyway. Yeah. You did curbside. Yes. I don't know if there's anything that I'm, I need to do that's, that's curbside for this week. I don't know. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to see how this works out, but. Uh, I'm going to see how it works out, now, depending on which one of the managers is on duty today, too. Because uh, and that particular receipt, it's not going to mess up. I don't think it's going to mess up anything on my receipt either. So we'll see, because I think someone had said there's a way for you to return and repurchase for that receipt. And it won't mess up your stuff. It will actually give you back all the points that that's necessary. You use a coupon, what of a manufacturer coupon? You use a store coupon instead of a manufacturer coupon. Okay, okay, I see you, I see. Oh, one of the register rewards. If it's one of the register rewards, I, I probably, I think, I might, I don't know. I don't know if I use one, yes or no, but we gonna, we gonna get some money back. We gonna get some money back. So I got my receipt and everything. So I'm going to I'm going to call customer service first and see if they could just add it. If customer service can add it, good. If they can't add it, then I'm going to go back into the store and um and I'm going to go back into the store and then let them take care of it. But if customer service can handle it, no problem. They've been pretty good with that. It will save me from actually going into the store because y'all know what happened when we go into the store. We go looking at other things that we have no business looking at. Yeah. But um, reach out to me over on Instagram if you need me, Washington. Reach out to me on Instagram. 
Y'all, I will talk to y'all a little bit later. Uh, Walgreens has curbside. Yo, yo, I cannot with yo, yo this morning. Yo, yo, I cannot with you this morning. I need you to stay out of Michael's. I need you to stay out of Joanne's yo-yo. And I need you to be online on the interwebs looking at these couponers videos so you know what's available. I need That's what I need you to do for this week is to update yourself on the couponing vibe out here. Yo, yo, I need you to update yourself this week and stay out of the people's store, okay? Where you been, yo, yo? Where you been? Where you been? You slipped all the way, girl. All the way. Exactly, Washington. <laughs> she, yo, 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 it's just like, it's, it's, it's been a whole blur. It's been a whole blur. I don't know. It's just one big blur. Yo, yo, stay out of the stores. And I need you to get on the couponers site on YouTube, get on their videos and be watching the videos and update yourself today. Girl, you've been missing in action. You MIA completely. You completely MIA, completely MIA. So I'm trying to get all of my shopping and my deals done before I leave town because I'm not trying to come back with any... Um, Oh, dang, I think we got to buy luggages, too, because um, we busted our luggage. They busted. They busted. We busted it with the last couple trips we went on. We harsh. We're harsh on, on luggages, y'all. We harsh on luggages. Uh, but when we buy luggages, they last us several years, at least. They're good quality, but we are harsh on luggages. You getting back in the game? Okay, good. All right, Cindy. Be, be well. Be well. Whoa, yo, yo, you threw me, girl. You, you, you threw me up against the wall. You threw me, sis. But okay, y'all, let me run. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. Let me share one more thing before I leave. Did you all do your challenge yesterday to be a blessing to someone? Who did their challenge yesterday to be a blessing to someone? Tamara did. So yesterday... Two people checked me out because I did like five transactions yesterday at the store. One, two, three. Yeah, like five transactions at the store yesterday. Or maybe six. So two people checked, cashed me out. Um, I didn't do them all at the same time. I was back and forth. Um, so what I did was the toothpaste. I bought two sets of the two toothpastes yesterday. And at the end of all that, I put them in two separate bags with the receipt and tied it up. And I gave one set of two to each of the cashiers because you, you got to give them the receipts because you don't want people to think they, they're taking things. Um, as well as a thank you for their patience and their kindness while checking me out because they were very patient, very kind while checking me out. And so I gave that um, to them yesterday. So. You did yours on Sunday. Awesome, Washington. Awesome. So listen, y'all, if you didn't do it yesterday, try to see if you can do it today. Be kind to someone today. And kindness comes in so many different formats. As a matter of fact, there was a lady that was walking. It was an older lady in Walgreens as well. And she had on a beautiful jeans dress, strap, you know, broad strap square top, button down. Y'all know the dress. Y'all know the dress. Beautiful. And I turned and I said to her, that's a beautiful dress. And she smiled and thanked me. Make sure that you're kind to someone today. It doesn't take a lot of you out of you to be kind. Sometimes the fact, just the fact that you speak to them and say, hello, how are you? And you look at them when you do that. Uh, they're surprised and they're happy for that. Sometimes, though, like yesterday in Michael's, if y'all saw my, uh, no, I deleted it. After after I got off with y'all at Michael's, I was taking my selfies in Michael's by the balloon station. Um, By the balloon station. So 
one of the dudes that work there passed by. I'm guessing he's a shift manager or something. I haven't seen him in there before. He's new. Passed by. I said, oh, I see you're enjoying our selfie station. I said, I am. Thank you very much. Then he said, you do know that the balloons, it's actually a package that we sell. Y'all, 15 minutes later, this dude took me all around the store, show me the packages that they had with the balloons. Let me know that they don't sell the air right now, but I could get it over at Party City. Took me around to the other section and said, you know, black and white and gold is a good color for a lot of regular activities, especially graduation. Now, have you seen our graduation display? Why, no, I haven't. Well, let me show it to you. Took me around and showed me the graduation display. Okay. If you need anything else, ma'am, just let me know. My name is X, Y, and Z. Sometimes you run into that, so it may cost you 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, however, let us look for intentional, intentional ways to be kind to people. My honey bunny doesn't even know it, but I bought him a mango yesterday. Like I bought him one last week. Um, but I bought him a mango yesterday because he's such a sweetheart, right? He's a he's a sweet mango. So I got him one yesterday because I know he enjoys these things. Kind, kindness is such small things that we can do as well, y'all. So please make sure that you're finding ways to express kindness to the people that are in your life each and every day in those ways that may mean something to them as well. So I love you all with the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Choose to walk upright before him today. Let the words of your mouth and the meditations of your heart be acceptable in his sight. Y'all, I will talk to you tomorrow by God's grace on the morning tea. And I'll see y'all on Instagram throughout the day today, possibly. All right, y'all. Bye. Great, Justin. Yes, in the drive-thru, this girl, because I use my coupon at my McDonald's. I use my coupons. Okay, give me my $1 French fries to hold me over till I go home. You know, and she always, she's very knowledgeable about how to work all of these app situations. And I looked at her and I said, you know, I really appreciate the fact that you know how to work these. You're amazing. She said, oh, thank you. You understand? So make sure that we're kind to people and we acknowledge them as well. Everybody likes a pat on the back. Everybody likes likes their ego to be to be tooted. <laughs> Lady Bennington, y'all have a wonderful day today. And then tomorrow we're gonna we're gonna see what y'all act of kindness was for the day. Bye-bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.